a daughter took the stand at her mother's murder trial today and ended up defending herself. Stacy Castor is accused of killing her husband and trying to kill her daughter and make it look like a suicide. She also tried to pin the murder on her daughter. On the stand today, Ashley Wallace testified that she never tried to kill herself and she certainly didn't kill anyone else. Did you, when you were 12 years old, poison your father with antifreeze and rat poison? No, I did not. And did you poison your stepfather with antifreeze in 2005? No, I did not. Here's Ashley's version of how things played out in 2007 when Castor allegedly poisoned her. Ashley testified that Stacy Castor suggested twice and in that month that they drink, the last time saying, let's get drunk. But Ashley says she remembers no, the drinks tasting That's funny. Right. And the last time she says she felt sick, laid down, and then she woke up in the hospital. Jeff Kulikowski has been in the courtroom for all of the trial. Jeff, we've heard Stacy Castor accused of forging a suicide note for her daughter. But on cross-examination, Castro's lawyer brought up a different letter that Ashley had written to a boyfriend, right? Yeah, and what it was, it was probably the bombshell of the whole cross-examination that lasted a good two hours. Chuck Keller produced a letter written by Ashley Wallace that she admitted to on the stand to an old boyfriend where she describes two prior suicide attempts. Now, she was on the stand for quite a while today. She was composed for the most part, but both with the DA and with her mom's attorney. But it was towards the end of that cross-examination when this old letter came up that she started to get frustrated during that cross-examination. Ashley Wallace was on the stand well over three and a half hours today with her mom sitting just across the courtroom from her. A mother accused of killing her stepfather, trying to kill her, and suspected of killing her own father. Wallace told the jurors about the phone call she got from her mom in August of 2005, telling her David Castor, her stepfather, was dead. What's wrong? And she goes, I have to tell you something, but I don't want you to get upset because I'm not there to comfort you. And I was like, what's wrong? And she's like, I have to tell you that David killed himself. And I just broke down. I didn't know what to do. I started crying. And then she got off the phone. All right. The, the thing that struck mm -hmm. a lot of people today is usually in a murder trial, the prosecution starts with police, the medical examiner. A lot and then of minutia. They, right. Well, mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. things that are important mm -hmm. to building the case. Mm -hmm. And then they build up to these witnesses. Bill Fitzpatrick, right off the bat, first witness calls Ashley Wallace. Probably the star witness of the whole yeah. case, What's at least the for the prosecution. What's the strategy behind that? Well, certainly hard to get inside his mind, and he's right. keeping his cards pretty close to the vest, but I think he wanted to establish right off the bat, right first thing with the very first testimony in the case to the jurors that, you know, Ashley Wallace is the key, and her testimony is what you need to believe, and it's her testimony that's going to prove that her mom is guilty of all the crimes that she's facing today. So I think he wanted to be very demonstrative and very uh, certain right up front. Mm -hmm. Given the fact that jurors have to find guilt beyond a reasonable mm -hmm. doubt, yesterday, um, Stacey Castro's lawyer raised the possibility that was Ashley Wallace mm -hmm. who killed her stepfather. Correct. So he was, Bill mm -hmm. Fitzpatrick, you think, is trying to just erase that doubt. Exactly. And that's exactly, again, what we saw uh, Chuck Keller try to do this afternoon in his cross-examination, try to show some inconsistencies in, in some of her statements mm -hmm. and testimonies to grand jury and on the stand today. But, yeah, uh, Bill Fitzpatrick really wanted to get right to the point. He was very direct with his, his questioning. And uh, the last thing he asked her on the stand was, did you kill your stepfather and did you kill your father back in, back in 2000? She said no to both of those. All right, Jeff Kulikowski, you'll be back in the courtroom mm -hmm. tomorrow, and uh, you'll be back here tomorrow yep. night. Thank you. We'll be following this trial throughout the uh, proceedings. It is expected to last several weeks. For updates, go to 9wsyr.com. We'll be carrying key testimony live on our digital channel and on our website. And our digital channel, as a reminder, is 9.2. If you have Time Warner Cable, it's 890.